We're learning about Flutter and Flame, our Android mobile app game. Currently has a sprite moving across the screen. Today, you're going to learn about the joystick component in Flame. Flame is a game engine that works with Flutter. There are three properties of the joystick component that we'll have to implement. The first is the knob, so it's this red circular dot. The second is the background here there's a slight transparent background to show the limits of the knob and the final is the margin so it's pushed in here and here so it's the, basically the placement of the joystick on the screen to fully understand the joystick you'll need to understand the circle component so it's basically making a circle with the flame system then we're going to apply some paint. This is the color, uh, for example, the red or the gray of these two circular components. Finally, there's a update loop. When you press it to one side, we have to check the reading of the joystick and adjust the character based on the movement of the joystick. And to make this work, we have to apply the draggable mixin. I'm using VS Code. I'm going to create a folder here called world and in lib I'm going to create another folder called actors. In world I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call it game underscore joystick dot dart. We're going to create a new class using the class keyword from the Dart system. I'm going to call it Game Joystick. So this is the name of the class that I'm creating. I've, I'm making up this first name here. The extends keyword is from Dart and Flame has a built-in joystick component. So we've created our new class from the joystick component and it's automatically imported flame components dot dark. We're going to use the constructor to set up the initial values. So constructor is a method that has the same name as the class. So this second game joystick here is a constructor. It's, it's a method it has the same name right here. We use the colon super. Super refers to the parent class, which is joystick component. And here we're going to set up the initial properties of this knob. The three properties that we'll add are knob, background, margin. So if you don't know what the properties of the parent class are, you can look at the documentation or maybe you can just mouse over it. But I know that I want to use the knob, which is a center part of the joystick. The knob is a circle component here. I'm going to specify the radius of the circle component at 30, so 30 pixels. And we have to apply paint to this. So flame comes with a basic palette. I want a red, and I want to have it with an alpha transparency. So alpha is the transparency level. And I'm going to specify the alpha channel as maybe 150. And we'll apply the paint. So focusing in on the main knob here. So knob is a property of game joystick which is joystick component. And the main knob is built up as a circle component. So circle component is from the flame system. We have to specify a radius and a paint. Second property we're gonna deal with is the margin. So it's how far the thing is pushed in. Edge insets is the same as what you would get from Flutter, so this edge 
inserts twenty pixels from the left and twenty pixels from the bottom. So it's not finding it. I'm going to do control dot. I'll import the flutter widgets and I will just show this one widget so there's no conflicts. So now I have my bar my margin, which is left 20 pixels and it's from the bottom up 20 pixels. The final property that we'll need to set up is the background. So it's the larger circle that is around the knob. So the knob is that red portion in the center and the background is the grayer portion. So it's another circle component. And it has a radius. I'll make the radius 100 so it will be bigger than the knob, right? And we'll also apply a paint here. Flame has a basic palette, and so we can pick a black color. I'll establish the alpha channel again. I'll make the alpha channel for this one lighter, and then we will paint it. And let's change the comma to a period. Right, congratulations, you've built the joystick. We just have to implement it into the game system now. You've built the knob, you've built the background, and you've built the margin. You now understand what a circle component is, you know, just making this outer, outer thing. And paint to apply the alpha transparency as well as the color using the flame basic palette. We haven't put into update loop yet, and we haven't added draggable. Let's do both of these right now. Because the joystick moves around, we'll have to add it to the main as a mixin, the draggable mixin. Okay, so here in line 15, Bobo extends flame game. All right, so this is the main bit of code. And we're going to apply has draggable because we need to drag that center knob. And this draggable is from the flame system. So this is how you use a mixin in Flutter. Okay, so let's start building out the the joystick right about here. So I'll go late final game joystick, which is a class name that we just created. And I'll call it a variable joystick. So I'm deciding this for myself. And here we can first instantiate it. Maybe I want it to be over everything. So we'll go with joystick, the variable name that we created, and we'll instantiate the game joystick. And then I'll add the joystick. Okay, congratulations. We have the joystick on the screen right now. We do not have it in the update loop, and so we can't get the readings from the joystick, but we could move it around like this and get the placement. So good job on getting this far. Let's go to the next step. I'm going to put the joystick movement inside of the character Bobu. So in order to do that, I'm going to create a character component and we'll have many characters eventually. So I'll create a generic character component. Under actors right here. And we will have our character exponent component extend a sprite component. Character component extends Sprite component, and we're going to add in the has game ref. 
So sprite component is red, so I'll do control control dot. It's not finding it yet. As game ref Bobu game. Okay, so it added the Bobu tutorial, main dot dart, which is the Bobu game here, and the flame components, which is why I have this sprite component here now. So we're going to build up this character component, make it different from a normal sprite component. But the first step is we're going to build out Bubu. And Bubu will now be a character component, which we just created. And we'll instantiate a character component. Okay, everything is still working after a hot restart. And let's continue to work on this character component. So now we can place the code specific to Bobu in here. So we'll set up an initial var uh, final variable for the speed of Bobu, how fast he's moving across the screen. And we'll use this a little bit uh, later in the game here. So I'm going to use on load and I have the code completion in here. In our main dot dart, we had a number of properties associated with Bobu. So the first is this sprite and we don't have the async keyword in and the thing needs to be game ref dot load sprite. Next one is the size of Babu, which will make a two position vector. We covered all this in the previous video. The position of Babu and the anchor point will be the center. And since we're going to moving, be moving Babu around, we'll have it be in the center of the game so the game ref i can now access the properties of the game one of the properties is the size and it's a vector two so we can just divide it by two and since babu's anchor is in the center hopefully babu is himself will be in the center and he was uh, we have him moving initially the character the sprite component already has a built-in update method. This is the update loop that is part of the flame system. And we can access the joystick from within here. Let's just set up a, a sample for now. Okay, it's currently idle. And let's see what happens. So we can move it up, we can move it down on the lower portion of the screen, left and right. So with this, we can now change the direction that Bubu actually travels since we have this nice property in here for the up, down, left, right. It's actually eight position, but we'll just be losing four of them for simplicity in this game. So let's comment this out because we know that it works or maybe I'll just delete it. And we'll set up a, a switch statement for the joystick. So we'll set up the case. Maybe we'll set the default. That will break it. And if it's the case of the joystick being down, we'll take some action here. 
and the action will be we'll have an if statement and we'll check to see if y is less than the game ref dot size dot y then we will move him down So the joystick also has, if you want to move the intensity more, it has a delta, which we'll be using. So this delta will make it move uh, faster, uh, the more toward the edge of the joystick it is. And so this is how you can alter the speed. It's with this delta right there. So we can move it down. Let's set up the rest of the directions. In the main dot dart, I'm moving Babu to the left here. So I'm just going to delete this update method within main dot dart because we're handling the motion of Babu within the character component. So if we build out the rest of the cases. So we'll try up, up the case, joystick direction, dot up, colon for the case statement. And so if he's try, trying to go up, we'll first check to make sure that he's still on the screen. Zero at the top of the screen. This, uh, the joystick delta will be um, negative. Let's see whether it's working. Okay, he's in the center. He can move up and he can move down. So we'll just get the other two directions. So if you're confused as to what's happening, we could also just print out the joystick delta so you can see it. Game ref dot joystick dot delta. All right, so you can see what happens when we're moving the joystick up. If you look in the bottom, and you can tell that this it's x and y, and the second the second coordinate or set of numbers in the vector is negative. So as we push it up, it's moving it by a variable amount, depending on whether it's slow or fast. It's a big number. That's how the joystick works. OK, let's go back here. I'm going to delete the print statement. And we will have the case for the left and the right. The case joystick direction dot right we'll go if x is less than the game ref dot size dot x and then we'll move him to the right
name ref dot joystick delta dot delta dot x times bt and we'll break it I'll just copy this I would be left and we just need to make sure to move left that is greater than zero. Zero is on the left hand side of the screen. Okay. Let's move up, down, left, and right here. Look at the code again so you understand it. This uh, delta is what's causing it to go slowly to the left or very quickly to the left. So we're grabbing the delta, the, the difference between the position. So the further to the, the outer knob here, uh, the faster it will go. So we have four directions only um, to keep it simple. And in our world, we'll eventually be changing the background depending on whether Babu hits a door or not. So I'll take this opportunity to make the background component. Make it easier to change background component. So it's just something I'm, I'm making up here. We call it class background component, and it will extend a sprite component. And in here on on the onload, we'll just onload our sprite which is pretty simple from main. <clears throat> we just have the name of the graphic and the the size of it, which is from the game, which has game ref, the bull game, We'll make this onload async and load sprite is from the flame game. So we have to do game ref. This method doesn't exist within the uh, sprite component, which is why we're pulling it from the, uh, the game itself. So it's just a built-in method that is from the game system. And the size will be the size of the game. Okay, in main.dart, we'll switch this to the background component. And I think I spelt it wrong. Background component. background component and background component. There you go. Okay, let's see whether it still works. And he's going good. Very good, congratulations. You can now use a joystick and start building a rudimentary game with Flutter. Have it on your mobile apps, put it on web, share it with your friends. Fantastic.